All right, I want to start this video by uh, showing you something really cool I discovered, which is, I'll close this so that I can actually show it to you from the start. So here I am with my index.html open, and I can click this little column button, and we see two indexes. Let me just open this wide so you can see it all. And this can be moved back and forth to get some width if you need it. Um, what I want to have here is my styles, and over here, my HTML. So I can click this, and there you go. Look, I've got two, two windows open, and I can also toggle these back and forth, because maybe I'd like for my HTML to have a little more space than the styles. But what we need to do is, uh, let's look at this. We've got some background images on the body tag, but we need to rein in that text. We want it to look like this. That's what we want the text to look like. And right now it is not looking like that, is it? Look at it. So let's try to calculate some widths here. Um, if I look at the header image, Actually, I think the fish bottom might be a little, let's look at them both. There's the header image. It is 2,048 pixels wide. That's a lot. Let's look at it compared to the final result. So what I'm noticing here is, let me just make this one bigger, is that this image with the final result has these three clouds and then they dip down and they're coming up. Look at that right here, three clouds, it dips down. This image is more than twice the size of that one. So let's imagine that uh, this image, 2048, let's imagine that this is about 1,000 pixels wide, maybe less, maybe 900. And so halfway, that's going to be about 450, right? So let's say that this is about 450 and this indent is about 100 150 or 200 we can do some more precise measuring when the time comes um, and then the from the top down we know it's going to be more than that right so if this is 200 then that's three I don't know I'm just guessing uh, maybe one day I'll figure out about a tool an extension here that will show me the measurements of things but for now, let's put in this window our index, and in this window our styles, and let's size them appropriately. And in order to rein in that text, we need to create a container for it. So I'm going to create a div tag, and I'll give it the ID of container. Again, you could always use the word page if that feels more appropriate. It doesn't matter what you name an ID here, as long as when you reference it in your CSS, you use the same name. Let's close that div. And then let's come over here and make sure there's a closing tag on that one. And then let's get our container going. And I believe I said 450. And margin left. Uh, 150. I think that's what I said. I'm not sure. Let me open this up. And margin top. Uh, that would be way more than margin left, I said, so let's go with 300. Save and refresh. Looks pretty good. But what is it looking like? Looks great. So what's not happening is this margin bottom I need to add to get all of this text up to about this area. So let's just 
add a margin bottom. And I'm going to try 300 even though I have absolutely no idea. Like, really, I'm wild guessing here. Looks like that was too much because there is a white line separating these two. So probably, but it is going down in there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's more that my width, let's see, three clouds and down, or my indent. Hmm. Let's just mess with these a little bit. Let's make the margin top more like 250. Save. Refresh. All right, well, now it's a little smoother, but it fe I feel like my margin bottom now needs to be a little bigger. So let's say 350. Save. Refresh. There we go. 350 was too much, but That'll be way too much. 325. Refresh. All right, I could get off this fish a little. I think I can go less on my margin top. 250, why don't I say 225 here? This is a lot of fudging back and forth. It would be a lot easier if I had been able to measure it better. I'm going to go down to 200 here. so that I can now go up on my bottom a little. There, the fish is off the tag. So I feel like we're in good shape right now to move forward with the next video.